Wow, wow, wow. Ain't these diamonds nice for the Diamond League? Ain't they just nice? All right, let me get into today's topic because, look, these athletes are competing for $30,000 in the final, $20,000 for the most consistent athlete and everything like that, and we got this list right here. Let me zoom in. Let me do the zoom in, the 100-meter women's entry list. We got Dina Asher-Smith, or as the people on our channel call her, Sexy Asher-Smith. That's her nickname that she's been dubbed on this channel. Uh, Delpont, Kambunji, Naida, Oliver, Talu, Thompson, Hira. Now, there have been some people that's over here calling her, uh, what the heck happened to Shelly Ann Frazier Price? They calling her Shelly Ann Scary Price, no show Frazier Price. I'm like, wait a minute, what? Like, where is that coming from? Hold up. Y'all need to slow this down. People be quick to jump on this drama train very quickly. Now, obviously, if this is where we're going to look at for the final, then you would think, you would think that, uh, and before you guys say, hey, she's tired, she doesn't have to prove anything, let's just examine this uh, for a second. Let's just examine this because Shelly Ann Fraser Price ain't the only one that's missing from here. But before we get into that, you're watching Head and Shoulders ATR, where we cover athletes' performances and otherwise that are head and shoulders above the rest. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Look, we also are missing someone else. Remember, it's Sharika Jackson. She's not in this list either. She's not in the list either. Now, while Shelly Ann Fraser Price, she's doing her thing, she's like, hello, haters. I did my stuff. I collected my checks on the last one. I've been doing what I needed to do. I qualified for the final. That's what I needed to do. In my opinion, in my opinion, from looking at this, look, the, at the current list, if it stays this way, this is a Lane Thompson hero to win. Now, I might have to do an updated list if they change this, but this is how it looks right now. Shelly Ann Frazier Price in the background. She laughing at people trying to talk about her. Oh, my goodness. Why did that uh, get smaller? She's laughing at people trying to talk about her right now. Look. Some of you guys are looking at it like this, but I don't really think so. I don't really think so. Like at the current one, this is Elaine Thompson Hero's race to lose. I mean, she is just so much better than everybody else on the list by PRs and in-season performances, right? Talu might be able to get there, right? Like very, very long shot. Everybody's got a super long shot, but Talu got a very long shot. Everybody else is even worse. But Talu's taped up. She's hurt. She's just going to have to be here trying to do the best that she can. And we know Talu, she's out there doing the action. But here's Shelly Ann Fraser Price. From what I can see in this uh, Diamond League final in Zurich, remember, this is the winner's uh, takeoff. That was made, uh, by the way, if you're looking at the stats on the screen, before you start crying and complaining, right, before you start crying and complaining, here's Sharika Jackson on the screen. She's missing too. Uh, that was made before the Olympics, okay? Now, this is what I found out. This looks like a provisional start list, a provisional start list. So that means these uh, heats and everything are not final. Uh, that means they're just putting those athletes in there. Right now, uh, DeGrasse, as far as the sprint events, DeGrasse and Elaine Thompson Hero, and then Noah Lyles to uh, a certain extent, but as far as DeGrasse, he's got more notoriety than Lyles. They're the ones that are headlining the sprint events. Mondo Duplantis is uh, headlining the uh, field events, more or less. Uh, but think about it like this. This is a weird field. You know what else is weird? I'm going to get you here real quick with this weird field. So that means this is going to change. So for all y'all people out there, I've seen it on other YouTube channels. I got some buddy of mine, uh, buddies, buddies of mine, that called me. That's what even brought it to my attention. I wasn't even paying attention to it. Then they called and they were calling her all those names. And then I'm seeing other people saying, yeah, she's not showing up. You keep guys keep talking about Richardson not showing up. Now she's not showing up. This is a final, right? Look at this list. We got two athletes here that didn't even break 10 seconds made it into the final. And for the men's, is this the final list? I man, I don't know. But uh, Mudia, Mudian Salage, Dang, I had his name. I had practiced it so many times. Yupin, he uh, made it through because some other people probably were banned and aren't competing. 
So with this one, I mean, look, here's another thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You know, they always have an eight lane final at the very least. That means at least one more person is going to make it. Uh, but Sharika Jackson had an interview recently said that she's going to go into the, she's glad that she qualified for the one in the 200. She looks forward to that. So at the very least, we got to see Sharika Jackson on this list. This would be kind of weird. So that means who gets bumped off or are we going to see a nine lane final? Because typically they have four, but if it's nine uh, athletes in there, it makes sense just because of the notoriety. They want to uh, open it up a little bit, but at the very least, we have at least one more athlete. Sharika Jackson already said she looks forward to it. Shelly Ann Fraser Price just ran yesterday. And then, well, at the time of this recording yesterday, and she said that she looks forward to uh, coming through. So what's up with this list? Are they trying to do a last minute entry here? I mean, I think they are trying to do a last minute entry. They Are they trying to pull a Shawnee Miller Weibo when she had sent everybody in a mother's and father's grandmother's grandfather's off when she made it seem like she wasn't going to do the 400 remember she kept going back and forth on that thing oh yeah she doesn't know i don't know if i'm doing the four i'm focusing on the two and then she came through and she showed y'all what for and she became the olympic champion all right so i think this might be the same thing what do you guys think do you guys think that shelly ann fraser price we don't need to say hey look she's proven herself we already know she's proven herself we already know now, I'm going to do a, a, a video, a follow-up video on this about the Diamond League in general. So you guys definitely stay on the lookout for that because – where is it at? Here it is. Because we're going to talk about how it's two days. They got the freaking 5,000. I think this is very interesting on a 560-meter track, right? And it's going to be run, like, through a city or something like that or around some buildings. But it's a temporary track of 5,000 meters that takes place on Wednesday. So these are two-day events. And this is crazy. This is crazy how much money they, they'll, they'll be giving out. And that uh, I told you guys to look out for Ibarguin. She's one of the only people. Allison Felix, Catherine Ibarguin, uh, Noah Lyles. They're the only people that won two Diamond League trophies in different, um, that won at least two different trophies in the same year. That's crazy. They're the only athletes in the history of uh, them doing this that they have done that. So I'm going to cover that on the next video. But for right now, I think Shelly Ann Fraser Price is just kind of sort of trolling us. Same thing with Sharika Jackson. They're going to show up and it's going to be updated last minute. I can't see them not running it, but if they don't, I wouldn't hold it against them. It just becomes now uh, Elaine Thompson Hero's race to lose, right? Is her race to lose because right now she's she can jog on them and she can win. I mean, Ty Luz taped up. So what is she going to do? The best that she can do, she's injured uh, and barely holding it together. So even her running as hard as possible, I don't think that would be enough. Uh, even against a slipped out of the blocks Elaine Thompson here. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below. Peace until the next video.